Hello, Cancer, and welcome to your January 2020 monthly reading. This is for Cancer. Cancer, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at SecretTarot1111. And I will leave those links and all of that information down below in the description box. All right, Cancer, this is for you. If this resonates with you, Cancer, please like, share, and subscribe. And leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Cancer, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Cancer out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you, this is for Cancer for January 2020. What is going on with Cancer for January 2020? Okay. Oh my God. Okay. That's awesome. Holy moly. <laughs> Holy moly. You have manifested this, and it's coming in very, very quickly. Ooh. Do you want it? That's the thing, right? When you manifest something and it shows up, you got you to gotta grab it. You got to take it. Um, cancer, my God. This is amazing. This is amazing. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's coming in very, it's very, it's hot and heavy, right? It's a hot and heavy, it's, it's quick, quick, quick. Coming in um, with a lot of passion too. So, all right, so before we get into it, okay, so nine of cups, wish fulfillment, wishes granted, okay? Now let me show you how I'm seeing this. Of course, you know, working that law of attraction, clearly you've been manifesting a soulmate situation here, um, I feel like, you know, whether it's a new person, old person, whatever the case may be, it's here. And, um, I feel like whatever you're wishing for, whether it's new, old, a new person, old person, it's most definitely a soulmate. And, uh, it's something the universe wants to give to you. Okay, um, doesn't necessarily have to be a horrible ex. It could be somebody that you've always had your eye on in the past. It could be a new energy you shared lifetimes with, whatever. Okay, the point is your wishes are being granted. I mean, you can literally see he looks like a genie, doesn't he? Um, and this is a card of wish fulfillment. Why? Because this is you in the reading. This is the placement. This is you. Because you manifested this. Right? So your manifestations are coming into reality. You just cannot, Cancer, you cannot let past hurts um, stop you from taking what you've created. Right? All right. So... That being said, um, I'm going to um, I'm going to read the energies of the cards. If the sign of the person that uh, you have um, dealt with will be dealing with, right? Dealing with right now, right? Time is fluid. If their sign pops up, all the better. Keep in mind, some of these energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. You've been waiting on this. You've been waiting on this to arrive. Don't be scared of it. Don't think it's going to hurt you. Um, this is awesome, right? So you've been looking towards the future. This is a card of waiting for your ships to come in. Um, your ships have arrived or will be arriving. Three of Wands. This is Fire, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. You want a higher level of commitment here? Um, if that's what you manifested, guess what? As you wish, Cancer, right? As you wish, like that um, Princess and the Bride movie, As You Wish. Um, 
So the Hierophant here, you could be dealing with the Taurus or somebody with strong Taurus in their chart. You want something real. You want something long lasting. You want something like a higher calling type of thing. Um, higher levels of commitment here. If that's what you want, Cancer, that's what you've got. Balance, reciprocity, not being taken advantage of. These are some of the things I'm going to be assuming, right, that you have been manifesting. That kind of energy coming towards you. A nice fit, a nice balance. Somebody that's, it's not going to be a one-sided situation. It's going to be even here. All right, somebody that's very generous towards you, very kind towards you. All right, so let's see. Let me put these away and grab these romance angel cards okay so yeah you've manifested this cancer all right so heart of the reading expect the unexpected expect the unexpected soul connection right an unexpected relationship that's what's going on here it it may have they may have come back unexpectedly it could be a new energy for some of you that fell out of the clear blue sky um but it's here and it's real and you fear it you're scared cancer you're scared i'm telling you and you you manifested this yourself you created this yourself you want this it's just that big big fear of being hurt right so you got a big decision here um you you want it or not so two of um two of cups it's water knight of swords it's air gemini libra and aquarius right the root of the reading one of the happiest cards in the tarot here so um yeah this is a higher level of commitment this is a loving long-term commitment here if this is what you want as you wish cancer right um, so happy family, happy home, happy partnership. Ten of cups full of love, baby. In the past, you've been very closed off. Why? Because the ten of swords is on the table. You've been hurt, right? You've been hurt before. So I feel like this scares you. The intensity of it, um, the quickness of it, because it's a lot fast, fast moving energy. It just hey, <laughs> all of a sudden, there's a soulmate situation going on. So, um, yeah, I feel like Four of Cups, you've been very closed off. You've been, you haven't, uh, it, this is the past, right? Um, this is in the past position here, Cancer. You really weren't interested. Um, you weren't, weren't interested in um, the people that were offering um, love to you. You weren't interested in apologies. You weren't interested, you know, it took you a minute to heal. It took you a minute to um, look up and see what was going on. And it took you a minute to really figure out what you want and start started to manifest that, okay? Started to manifest that into your life. Let me tell you something. Um, you have... Um, really done an awesome job. Okay, so congrats on that. Uh, Four of Cups, this is Water Energy Cancer Scorpio Pisces. I feel like this is a worry. I feel like in the near future, there's going to be a worry of this person going to be hurting you again. Yes, you wanted this cancer. Yes, you manifested this cancer. Yes, um, uh, just you're just afraid of being hurt okay now could this be by the same individual it could be for some of you depends on what you're manifesting here um you could be manifesting new olds right could be an old person but it's new to you you know what i'm saying somebody you felt a a, a connection with um a while ago but you never got to actually um know them in a relationship type of way um but anyway this i feel is a fear um this is uh, a fear of being hurt okay so you're going to be experiencing that you got a big decision um 
that you got to make, right? Are you going to let that fear get the best of you? Ten of Swords, that's Air, Energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. This is going to be up to you. I feel like where you have been and the hurt that you have endured, I feel like it has emotionally strengthened you. And I feel like um, coming through as the King of Cups, you're going to follow your intuition here. You're going to follow your heart here. Um, it's so fast and it's so, it's almost overwhelming. Um, but this is you creating your own reality here, right? And it can be a little bit scary when it does show up. Just saying, right? And it's like, wow, I really did this. I made this happen. King of Cups, this is water. Um, you could be dealing with another water sign or somebody with strong water in their chart as well. But I feel like you have grown emotionally um, through all of your trials and tribulations here. Uh, and I feel like you're going to come to the realization that, you know, not everybody is out to do this. Not everybody is out to hurt you kind of a thing. So I feel like you're going to be following your God-given um, cancer intuition and also your heart with this card because that is the energy of the King of Cups. Now, of course, this is you. This is you creating what you want. This is create you creating the relationship that you want and you are um, using all the tools, right? Uh, we, we've got the sword for... Um, communication we that's the air elements we've got the fire um right there the fire element with the wand for passion we got the cup for water emotion right we got the pinnacle that's earth for success and you're pulling from all of that and you're creating this um you conjured yourself a soulmate <laughs> cancer <laughs> yes you did Cancer conjured themselves a soulmate. Nice work, by the way. All right, so it's it's intense, okay? And it's coming in hot and heavy. Now, you got to fear that this is going to be a playboy, hot and cold, back and forth situation. This is a fear of yours. You're afraid, you, again, you're going to get hurt again. But I feel like the intensity of this is also kind of um, scary for you. And... The, the quickness, okay? This person's passionate about you, all right? With this Knight of Wands, I'm telling you, passionate about you. And it it's like hot and heavy, right? Um, so that's nice. Um, in your hopes and fears, you're hoping that this is a true soulmate connection, and I do believe it is, especially with these two cards here. Now, for some of you, this could be a past person. And we're and you're wanting to work this out. Maybe that's what you manifested. For others of you, this could be a long lost love that you guys never really, um, it, it could never really take off. But you still got this fear of being hurt. For others of you, this is you know a new connection, maybe a past life connection, but definitely a soul connection. No matter how you slice it, this is a soul connection. And this is, you know, in your hopes and fears, this, uh, this is what you want. And that's a good thing. I feel like this is a very, it's a very nice energy, right? Six of Cups. It's ultimately your decision, okay? The ball is in your court. And that is why you're crowning this reading as well. Um, you know, coming through is that masculine water energy, Um the it, the decision is yours whatever you want to do with this is yours okay you created this situation you manifested it you conjured it so to speak right and um yeah do you want it you gotta let the fear get the best of you is this someone that you want into your space do you want this cancer all right. Please clarify the judgment card for cancer for January 2020. Look at this. You could be dealing with a Virgo. You could be dealing with a Leo. 
okay, or somebody with strong Virgo with the Hermit or Leo with the Strength card in their chart, okay, so you got a lot of thinking to do, you had to do a lot of healing from past situations, but let me tell you something with this combo, you have emerged stronger, just like I said, um, and you you have the the confidence now to make decisions, do you want this person or don't you, right, you, you're stronger now, um, you're more experienced now, and um, your confidence is back. You got this, right? You maybe had to, especially during this, I just, I can't even deal with relationships right now, period, that you were in, this quiet period, this healing period. Like I said, you had to heal from this. You simply don't want a repeat of the past, but you have grown so much emotionally speaking, and you come out even, you're even better, you're even stronger, you're even fiercer here. So again, the choice is yours. The choice is yours. And you have the strength and the confidence to make that decision to know what's best for yourself. All right. This is for cancer. I'm going to pull some romance angels cards for you. For January 2020. What is going on here for cancer? What is going on here for cancer? What is going on? This is for cancer for January 2020. What is going on with cancer? Okay. Ooh, I told you. Past life connection and keep an open mind. You have known each other before. This, I mean, it's still. We have a past life situation here. Could be a past life connection. You may have already known this person, right? That's for some of you, like I was saying. And then others of you, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. I can see this. It just depends on who you want, who you want to bring into your space, what kind of connection do you want? Do you want somebody completely different than what you wanted? That's for some of you. Do you want someone from your past? That's for some of you. Point is, this is a true connection. Do you want it, right? Do you want it? Cancer, you've conjured yourself up a soulmate. Now what are you going to do? <laughs> I love this reading. It is so cute. I love it so much, right? Now what are you going to do? Um, let me know in the comments below. You want them or, or not? <laughs> All right, Cancer. That is what's going on here with your January 2020 reading. And I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, some of you may decide, you know what? Nah. Maybe I'll just go back to the drawing board here. <laughs> but I love it. I think this is an awesome reading for you. An awesome reading. All right, Cancer. Sorry about that. Mags was saying, hello, Cancer. Happy New Year. All right. So like I was saying um, at the beginning of the video, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Um, found out last night that they let me out of Twitter jail. Really don't know why I was in there, but I am free. I am free now, and you are free to follow me on Twitter at this time. <laughs> um, I do have a weekly schedule, Cancer, so you can see when your weekly reading will be released. And also, I have a live schedule, and I go live every day, but Saturday around noon Eastern Standard Time. And all of that information can be um, found down below in the description box or in the about section of my channel. Next week, I'll be working on the January 2020 monthly readings. So, nope, that's what I'm doing right now. I'll be working on the January 2020 how do they feel about you readings. So, check all of that out. Cancer, I love this reading. Um, you got your law of attraction mojo working for you. Congratulations. I will talk to you soon. God bless.